So I I got lost on my way to school today and I found this chair. So good morning Vipers and welcome to the Friday morning update. I'm Lucas Oaks Messick and here are this morning's top stories. Congratulations to Track for being district champions for the fifth year in a row. Must feel good to know that you're the best at running in a straight line. Prom is tomorrow night at 7, juniors and seniors. Remember how I said, juniors and seniors. Congratulations to the boys tennis for passing round one in state playoffs. I make a joke about athletes, but they tend to not have a very good sense of humor. Today is the last day to check out library books, but proceed with caution. Verado's biggest threats are sarcastic desk clerks. That's all we have for this Friday morning update. I'm Lucas Oaks Messick signing off. And make sure to stay tuned for our club weekly show, where we show all of the clubs that you'll be able to join next year. not true Wanted a woman never bargained for you Lots of people talking, few of them know Soul of a woman was created below Well, Mio Fatea is really just a math club and um... We take in math, people who enjoy math, and we try and get others in the community to um, enjoy math more. Yeah, so Mio Fatea is a national organization, I think out of Oklahoma University, I hope I'm getting that right. Which is in the same standards as of, as of like NHS or the Hispanic Honor Society. Uh, I joined Mio Fatea because I love math. It's always been my strong suit. Kind of good at math, and I thought I might be interested in joining this. I joined the club because um, I'm very good at math, and I wanted to uh, help others succeed in math as well. And I thought it would be a good chance to get little kids exposed and just expose it a little more to our community. So I need, I need, I want something to fill my time, and um, it's actually pretty fun because the people are really funny and we don't just sit around and do problems we plan things so we plan different events uh, we have also helped with the verado elementary school in um, running a presentation at the elementary school so we put in this math night for the little kids there and it was just games and different activities to get them excited for math which was really awesome a huge success and we um we started up a tutoring um a tutoring program where uh, students in, in New Alpha Theta help to peer tutor other students who need help in mathematics. We've uh, participated in competitions. A smaller subsection of this club went to a math competition in Gilbert. Next year we're going to definitely compete in more competitions. We're going to have more community events. And we plan different uh, whatever we're doing like activities. So it's not just math problems, it's getting exposed on how to put math out there and how to teach others. And I felt like with my experience, I could uh, help the community become more involved. We're basically promoting math because I mean, the world revolves around math. Beyond classes, you can apply it to so many different things and there are so many different jobs and careers that um, really use math a lot. You may not think, but pretty much every job today and even like home, like daily duties of um, everyone, like taxes and everything, you have to use math a lot. Math is used in everyday life, so you just try to bring it to the world. Young Life is a place where you get to come to club and kind of come out of your shell and be yourself and hang out with your friends and make new friends. We play crazy games and you might see some crazy characters come out, but I promise you it is going to be the best night of your entire week.
Young Life is an opportunity for high school kids to have fun, to be kids, and, and through opportunities of, of playing games and, and doing crazy things that we can't do during the school day, uh, we build relationships with one another and have fun and build laughter and be able to share life with each other because we know that there are times in life that are hard and we know that there are times in life that sometimes we just need someone to talk to. Through Young Life, oh, that's our goal. Our goal is to provide people with opportunities to talk and to be themselves and have fun. And if you're ever wondering or thinking or considering coming by, just do it. Have fun. You never know what you can do if you don't try. hiking club sponsor for four years ever since it started and really the club originated because kids just wanted to go outdoors with other Verado students and hike and we agreed to do once a month hikes because it is difficult with all the other clubs and involvement that the students are doing in Verado so we hike once a month usually on a Saturday the kids pick the time and we always have a different location each hike uh, normally we start off really with the waterfall hike in the first month and then we start gradually growing to things like Squaw Peak and Camelback and this was the first year where we went to Sedona and we took a school bus and all the hiking club members were allowed to bring friends that they had and it was a really cool experience we got to hike for about three hours and then go downtown and shop and eat and it was a great bonding experience and I want to say that hiking club is very laid back because it's not big commitments you have to have. It's just show up, hike, get to see the outdoors and spend some good times on a Saturday. And honestly, you get to then have still a normal Saturday afternoon and night. So it's a great club to join and I recommend to join it. Alright, THON is a club that got started last year. It was one of my students' genius hour. It was actually a group of them in my sophomore English class. Uh, the purpose of THON is to raise awareness for pediatric cancer research and also to raise money for it. We're mostly focusing on getting started. So we were a part of the homecoming parade. They made a really cool float. We had some games out. We went to the tailgating and we did raise money during the football, team, or football games. We made about $900 this year. They find me in V8. Uh, they can email me, abarns at agafria.org, or they can look us up, VHS Minithon, on Twitter or Instagram. The Book Club is one of the many after school programs offered for students here at Verado High School. The club members meet once a month in the library to discuss the current book and vote on the next one. I spoke with the club sponsor to find out exactly how the members benefit from this program. Um. Kids get to do, well they have to do a lot of reading in your English classes, but it's not always the books that you want to read. And that's the best thing about book club is that we get to choose what we want to read and they get to read what's exciting to them. And it also, because there's different tastes with different people in the club, you get exposed to different kinds of books that maybe you wouldn't have read before. This has been Martin Rodriguez for KBHS signing off. If you cannot already see, I am very white. And what this should tell you is that it's not just Hispanic kids who can get into the uh, honor society. The overall goal is to help the community while getting our name out, while getting our Spanish culture and language out there.
the difference between the NHS and the Hispanic Honor Society is that we're more involved with our culture and uh, you have to have taken two Spanish classes and you needed to have gotten a B, at least a B. People, they're missing so many opportunities because they don't know about it. I mean, you can get scholarships from this. What we want to do is uh, make Spanish more broadly known so we have more opportunities for our careers and our futures in general. So we just want more members and to volunteer and get the Spanish language and culture out there. It's people who just want to learn Spanish. Like, when I first came to uh, Prado High School, I knew about as much as Dora would say, and now I can understand about 75% of what my friends will say in uh, the Hispanic Honor Society. If we get known, people will have really good, great opportunities that they can, you know, use in the future. During Thanksgiving last year, uh, we, you know, we all got together and we found some food. We got turkeys for these eight families who uh, were in a less fortunate situation than we were. And we helped them out and they had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I never took speech in high school and I studied it in college and thought wow this is actually a really cool subject and the more I learned about it the more I got into it I was like oh this is really kind of cool uh, and then I student taught uh, in Michigan a long time ago I'm old, uh, and did my student teaching in speech and I was like oh this is gonna be really cool so I don't know I, I have a huge passion for people speaking uh, accurately and making sure that you know things come across the right way I've always been kind of an open personality and somebody who's okay with talking to people and so I love to see people effectively communicate you know so much of our problems in the world really come back to bad communication and if I can be a small fraction of the, the, the solution to that problem then I, I'm happy with that. Speech and debate is a course that helps you become a better speaker. For me personally it has because Mr. Vernier made the class very enjoyable and fun. Okay, something I learned this year is you actually have to study the speeches that you write even though you write them because when you go up in front of a crowd of people, you're going to forget your speech, I promise you. You have to practice it. This class like gave me a lot of like motivation to like practice what you have to do and to study ahead of time before you actually get to the class. Well, I learned how to speak in front of audiences, gain confidence myself, listen to others when they're talking, like more of a listener, know what they're saying, so like people vent or when they speak, I'm listening, knowing what they're saying, and then I can also like speak to other people with confidence. And, yeah. Things I remember from this class is how to speak in front of an audience, how to debate with confidence, express my emotions through words, and appreciate all my teacher has done for me. Um, speech and debate kind of just gave me a lot more confidence in what I do and to be able to like give you the knowledge to know what you're doing before you actually do it. I would describe this class as inspirational, motivational, entertaining. Sign up for Speech and Debate. This is Liliana Martinez and Madison Norman reporting for VTV. This is me. And this is the yearbook. Here are some sports. Oh, and also some senior ads. These are my friends. Pretty cool, huh? Did you know? We got an honorable mention from Balfour. Here's the 2016 yearbook. So what are you waiting for? Join yearbook class. This is Theater Club. 
a small group of individuals aiming to break out of their shells and give life a new perspective. Theater Club was formed to develop skills relating to theater that would be helpful in life. This is Ms. Sanderson's second year teaching theater at Verado and happily sponsors this club. Theater Club aims to help all of its participants open up and boost confidence so as to set them up for success. Theater Club's acting president, senior Israel Daniels, offers some advice for those interested. Theater Club isn't for everyone, but he urges people to give it a shot. The activities they do, such as improv exercises, audition assistance, blocking lessons, playwriting, and tons of fun theater games, all help to improve skills. Theater Club meets every Tuesday in the Black Box. Stop on by and try it out sometime. B R O A D C A S T. <laughs> So for just a basic rundown of what Broadcast Club is, it's basically the broadcasting and film class or club that we have at Verona High School. Um, we like to compete in a lot of stuff. We also do the weekly show every Friday, which is just what we do to keep up updates around the school. And then we like to produce short films and post those on there too. We also like to do the daily announcements, which are just you know the announcements. And we do them in here in the um, green screen room and all that good stuff. Um, some of the things that we compete in, we com this year we competed in the Buckeye Airfare and that we just all entered in videos to make a promo for that and we won. We won a $1,500 check and that was pretty cool. Um, we also participate in Skills USA, which is just a competition for a, really a, a bunch of stuff. It's for radio, for broadcasting, for film, commercials and all that cool stuff and basically how those work is you go and then they give you a prompt and you have a certain amount of time to write, produce, and edit a film and then turn it in on time and you have to meet a bunch of requirements like that. So we did two of those, we went to regionals and won first and we won second and then we won first in broadcasting as well. Um, and then we went to state and we got, we placed in a lot for radio and broadcasting and we also placed first for commercial. And then now we're gonna go on to nationals for that. For the, we competed in the Peoria Film Festival and that we just entered in um, videos for several categories that, you know, were the prompts were to get about getting involved and we placed a lot for that too, which was great. Um, and then the biggest one that we do is uh, STN, that's a nationwide competition that we go to every year. It's always out of state. Um, this year we went to Atlanta, Georgia, and that was super cool. We placed third and first at that and that was awesome. It's just like a, it's a nationwide convention for film and broadcast students all over and they all go there and it's just the same thing, stay there for five days. It's really cool. So yeah, so join Broadcast Club if you like filming, if you have any interest in movies or acting or editing or graphic design. It's a combination of everything. So yeah, it's really cool. Cool experience. In Fashion Club, we were recognized by uh, FIDM, the School of California, the Fashion Design School. And uh, our friend Cecil, she asked us to come down to this workshop down in Gilbert. And we came down, and it was just a whole bunch of other schools around the state just came down, just got together, collaborated. We had this whole big workshop about fashion marketing, wow. social media. And it was just such a great experience to know all these schools have come such a long way, especially ours, uh, being recognized by them on their Instagram, from their uh, website. We've done the fashion show, which was a hit. Everyone loved it. And now, we're working on The Mix, which is our new magazine that's coming out. So everyone should pre-order it. <laughs> my favorite part about the magazine, too, would probably be being able to have my own part in it and getting to contribute my own ideas and taking photos and being in photos, and I think that's probably my favorite part about the fashion show. My favorite thing about the fashion show would have to be uh, the fashion show. It was such a great hit. Everyone came. Everyone it up. It was such a great way for everyone just to express what they feel, express who they are. We're just so open to having people and it's such a welcoming community and it's just fun. So. And it's so great because everyone has their own different style. Everyone interprets things in their own way and we're all so accepting towards that. I think getting to know everyone has been my favorite part because we've just become like such a close family and it's just been cool because unlike all the other clubs, you actually like really get to know people a lot and like 
I think, collaborate with them in such a unique way that you wouldn't be able to in other clubs. It's really something that I enjoy doing so much and it's, it's become a part of my life that I look forward to and I think that it would be awesome if other people can do it too because they would also enjoy it. The American High School, a place where education and fun is found around every corner, where the future of America waits to be seen. Here we have Wyatt, a future American lawyer. Look at him study, a real determined youth. He solves the most complex issues with ease. Way to go! A future lawyer is always helpful. Watch Wyatt help a student in need. Great job, Wyatt! Always looking to help out the community in any way he can. And like all Americans, Wyatt has a love for his country. Now get out there, join the Mock Trial Club, and become a true American. Stugo is like a family because we spend so much time together, and we're always here for each other. Um, when, it, when one person needs help, we help each other out. I got in, and then I started talking to people, and like I gained so many relationships with people, and... I gain family members. Most kids don't do, do this throughout their high school career. And I have the privilege to say that I do, and I'm able to grow with, it, with my family or friends. I count them as family. Student government is a whole bunch of group of people who plan events and find out ideas to make the school better and find out ways to make the school better. We just want to make the school a better place. We all have our own personal experiences and how we view high school and Stugo is really that place where we can all come together. It's fun because you get to be in charge of making of the things that create other people's high school experience. Stugo is like a way to kind of give back to your school, like to help it become a better place and it's just a really important thing. It contributes a lot to the school and it's just really helpful. One of the most rewarding things about being in Stugo is seeing the school's reaction on like all the events that put up, you know, seeing how excited everyone gets at the pep assembly, seeing people who participate in spirit week, seeing all the great like feedback we get from the dances. It's just really cool to see like the school itself, the whole one Verado motto coming together. The Guardian comes to you. Yeah, put
stuff to get through today um, we're gonna be party planning for the yearbook party so I need for you to first get out your planners and write down that it's May 11th from 3 to 5 in the main gym all right so what I'm gonna need you to do is get into four different groups I need a group for decorations one for entertainment and music one for food and one for book distribution okay so I have a list of all the things that we need to do I'm gonna go make copies of it I'll be right back All right, today, guys, you're going to be taking the Maricopa County trip reduction test. And to start this test, you're going to need a blue or black pen. So the first question is, enter one letter that best describes your school schedule at this school site. So you're going to get your black or blue pen, and you're going to fill in on the box A for high school that goes to five days. 
All right, guys, for our question two, all you're going to be doing is filling out the time that you get to school and the time that you end school. So, for example, we get to school at 8.15 a.m. And we end school at 3 o'clock p.m. And that's pretty much it. On average, how many do you use each of these ways to get to school? So basically, I drive to school five days a week, so I'm going to fill out five. All right, for question number four, enter the question only if the vehicle you use typically uses an alternate fuel. So you're not going to answer this question if you use gasoline. So say if I drive a Tesla that's electric, I would fill in the box for B. Okay, number five. If you ride in the carpool, how many other people are age 16 or older travel with you? So for example, I give my friends rides, two of them, so I would put two because I use the carpool to two of my friends. For question six, how many miles is it from your home to school? Well, you really can't know that in your head, so a good way to find that out is to go either on like Google Maps or on your phone and just uh, check it out. Put in your home address and then put in the school address and then you'll be able to find it out easier. And for number seven, once you're already on your maps, you're going to look at your route from your house to the school and it'll tell you both the amount of time it'll take you with the car and walking distance, so it'll take us six minutes to get to school in the car. Alright, so for question number eight, if you're willing to make a change to your daily commute, which options would you be best interested in? So for example, I really don't like wasting my gas driving to school, so I'd rather just carpool with some of my friends to save gas. What would motivate you to use an alternative mode? So I think it'd be really cool if I could get carpool parking. So I think that would really motivate me so I'm bubble it in. All right, thank you guys. That was the last question. All the other questions are just your own personal questions. When you're done with this test, just hand it in to your advisor. Thank you for taking the test.